Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire. Today we're going to guide you through the install process. Let's get started. Today we're going to be giving this Ford Bronco a system upgrade. We're going to be installing the 12 inch swing gate mounted loaded subwoofer enclosure from Stinger Electronics. Designed specifically to fit the swing gate of the new Ford Bronco, the entire subwoofer enclosure is protected by roadkill armor coating. So it's capable of withstanding the most extreme conditions. With 400 watts continuous power handling and 800 watts peak, this 12 inch weatherproof subwoofer adds tons of bass without taking up much space. Begin by removing the four Phillips screws securing the subwoofer into the enclosure. Push the terminal to release the wires. Set the subwoofer aside in a safe place. Remove the contents from inside the enclosure. Open the hardware pack and confirm the hardware quantities and the tools required using the installation manual. Using scissors or a straight edge utility knife, cut out the template along the dashed lines. Position the template on the inside of the swing gate using the plastic trim panel as a guide. Align the left and right crosshairs on the template to the register marks on the trim panel. Verify the template is straight by confirming the horizontal line on the template follows the horizontal groove on the plastic trim panel. Once aligned, securely tape the template to the swing gate. If you have a center punch, use it to mark the four mounting locations on the template. To prevent the drill bit from hitting the outside of the swing gate, wrap a significant amount of tape around the drill bit, leaving only half inch of the drill bit exposed. Drill the pilot holes, then drill the four nine millimeter holes at the marked locations. If a rivet nut setter is not available, follow these steps for each of the four holes. Take a B4 bolt. Slide a W2 metal washer onto the bolt. Then an N1 spacer nut. Then a W4 lock washer. Finally, hand thread the rivet nut onto the bolt. Insert the rivet nut into the hole in the swing gate. Using a 14 millimeter wrench to hold the spacer nut, start tightening the bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. Ensure that the rivet nut remains fully inserted and flat against the panel surface while tightening. Having a second person hold the wrench in place while using two hands to tighten the ratchet will help you apply more pressure while tightening, keeping the insert flush against the panel. The wrench and spacer nut should be held in place. Do not rotate. The rivet nut takes approximately 12 to 13 quarter turns to properly seat. The bolt will get harder to turn when the nut rivet is seated. Once installed, loosen and remove the 10 mm bolt while continuing to hold the spacer nut in place with the wrench. There are two bolts, spacer nuts, and washers provided in the event that they're needed. Then repeat this process or use the nut setter tool like we do for the remaining three holes. In the two lower threaded inserts, install the L1 brackets using the B2 Allen bolts. Apply the L2 foam bracket pads to the brackets. Remove the swing gate trim panel using a nylon pry tool. Release the retaining clips along the bottom, then swing the panel up to release it. Remove the tape from the ends of the factory wire loom. Run a suitable length of speaker wire into the factory wiring loom on the swing gate. Follow the factory wiring harness and secure it with zip ties. Follow the wiring up the side of the truck, removing trim panels as needed to get to your amplifier mounting location. Reinstall the swing gate trim panel. Slide the top clips into place, then press on the bottom to seat it. Connect speaker wire into the terminals. Positive is red, negative is black. It helps to bend the end of the speaker wire 90 degrees before inserting it into the terminal. Route the speaker wire through the channel. Align the speaker enclosure on the L brackets. Loosely install the included hardware into the upper mounting holes from inside the enclosure. 
Install the B2 Allen head bolts through the L brackets into the bottom of the enclosure. Once all bolts are threaded, tighten all the hardware. Place the sheet of polyfill inside the enclosure, along the back and side areas. Reconnect the speaker leads to the subwoofer, ensuring correct polarity. Positive is red, negative is black. Ensure that the pre-installed speaker terminal jumper wires stay connected while connecting the wires to the speaker terminal. Align the speaker and install the eight P1 screws securing the speaker and the grill into the enclosure. This completes your installation of the swing gate mounted subwoofer enclosure. Now just connect your subwoofer wiring to your amplifier and enjoy. We hope you've found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.